Coming up on Around Kern County, we have a special episode on how we're working to prepare our community for potential flooding due to snow melt. Stay tuned for how you can access important resources, view current water levels, and connect with us in real time when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's special episode of Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. Today, we're sharing important information on how our county is preparing for potential flooding due to snow melt. Right now, our emergency operations center is activated, not because we're currently in an emergency, but to ensure we're prepared in the event of one. Daily, our county departments and local agencies are working together under the leadership of the Kern County Fire Department to plan for potential flooding and execute important mitigation tools. This week, our Fire Chief and Director of Emergency Services, Aaron Duncan, provided an update to our Board of Supervisors on where we currently stand and what's being done. Uh, most of the snow melt that we've seen in the mountains of below 8,500 feet have melted, which is a good thing, and we're starting to see the melt occur from 8,500 to 9,000. But everything above 10,000 is still holding strong and it's not showing signs of melting. What you're going to see in the next two weeks, starting yesterday through mid-June, is going to be our largest number, uh, largest number of inflow into the county. This was predicted on weather models. This is that snow melt we're talking about from 8,500 to 9,000. So you're going to start to see uh, numbers range from 10,000 to 12,000, you know, peaks to 14,000 coming into our county. Uh, this is why we keep reiterating that we want to get as much out of the lake as possible so that we can make room for the snow melt that is coming in. Uh, and working with coordination with the Army Corps of Engineers, uh, they're hearing us and that they want to get out as much as they can. So effective yesterday, the Army Corps of Engineers has ordered that the lake to move to 7,500 CFS output up from 7,000 CFS output, which is a good thing. So we'll see spikes anywhere from 7,750, 7,500 all week. And the goal is, again, just to get out as much as we can to make room for the new snow melt. Throughout the past few weeks, our fire department has been sharing flood updates with the public and even holding community meetings in neighborhoods that could potentially be impacted. They've also recorded detailed videos explaining how water flows through Kern County. If you'd like to check them out and watch them for yourself, please visit our website at kerncounty.com. And on our website, we've created a new tool for residents seeking flood information. When you visit kerncounty.com, just click on the link at the top of our homepage that reads information on potential flooding in Kern County due to snow melt. This link will take you to a hub of resources from various departments and agencies hosted on a special microsite. You can check out our real-time water dashboard that shows current water flow rates for the Isabella Dam, view the latest floodplain maps, sandbag distribution locations, and flood preparation tools. What we want residents to know is that, um, you know, Kern County is prepared. Um, we, we're aware of the situation. Uh, we're, it's really an all-hands effort, and if, if I can pick one business area that I think Kern it does exceptionally well, it is emergency uh, planning, preparation, response. We are mapping the river on a daily basis with, uh, with drones, very sophisticated technology, giving people a real-time uh, look at where the river is and projections on where it may be at different flows out of the dam. The, uh, the men and women of the Kern County Fire Department are doing a great job. They're out in communities assisting residents uh, and uh, we want everybody to know that uh, we are here for them. We're watching the situation, believe we have it under control. Our job is to make sure that we're the best prepared that we can be and to make residents uh, aware of the situation, uh, changes to the situation, and to make sure that they're, uh, they're the best prepared that they can be. As a reminder, we also have important contact information we encourage you to use. From reporting road issues to Kern County Public Works to signing up for Ready Kern, all details are right there on our site. And if you'd like to speak to someone about potential flooding in your area, you can call our hotline Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. 
at 661-873-2660. An important part of making sure our county is prepared for potential flooding is doing all we can to keep our infrastructure up to date. Anna Marie Odo has how Kern County Public Works is getting our community ready. Right now, Kern County Public Works is reinforcing our communities with important flood mitigation tools. From building berms to repairing or reinforcing roadways, crews are working overtime to ensure our residents feel safe and prepared in the event of potential flooding. We're joined now by our director of Kern County Public Works as he gives us a wrap up of what's being done. We are always on alert at the roads department and so regardless of flooding we're always on the lookout for roadway deficiencies even when there is no flooding and so uh, the fact that there's flooding here doesn't really change a lot of what we do we're always on the lookout we're always prepared to respond and we do have 70 public works uh, road maintenance workers out there who are constantly evaluating our roadways for safety for uh, passability and we do keep the public up to date on all current road closures and advisories. To view current road closures in your neighborhood, please visit our website at kerncounty.com and click on the emergency banner you see on the homepage. To report a road issue, you can fill out Public Works online form on their website or call 661-862-5100. And we're ending today with a final recommendation for being prepared in the event of an emergency, which is having a plan for your pets. It's important to develop an evacuation plan for all of your animals, especially if they're large breed and take a little extra thought for transportation. Our Director of Animal Services is working to ensure our Kern County residents know there is a safe space for their animals if they have to be evacuated due to flooding. We're grateful for the folks at the Kern County Fairgrounds. Um, they've offered up the entire facility to provide care for um, both large and small animals. Um, we've, we've scouted the grounds, uh, we've identified some locations that we might be able to house large animals. So right now our capacity is probably about 250 large animals and a number of small animals. So uh, we've worked at the fairgrounds to make sure that we have identified those areas so that if an evacuation warning is called for, that the Kern County Fairgrounds can be a receiving facility for those animals that have to be evacuated. The county's plan is to provide a location and uh, resources to provide care for your animals if you cannot. Uh, but a part of that is planning. The best thing to do uh, when you're planning is to make sure that there's, a, there's a plan of action um, so that you know in advance, if I have to leave, this is where I'm gonna take my pets. There are plenty of opportunities for folks to seek out uh, you know, livestock corrals, uh, stable facilities all throughout Bakersfield and Kern County that are outside of the flood area. And now is a good time to make contact and find out if there's some vacancy. For more information on how to prepare for your pets, again, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. If you have questions, please directly email Kern County Animal Services at animalservices at kerncounty.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you next time.